Uh, g'day solar people um, and battery people today that's what I'm doing um, so this is an existing system out in near Gabby on a property um, not that far out of Perth about 100 120k out of Perth um, now some of you might recognize this system um, because originally this was a grow watt inverter on here it had one of the SPF 5000s on there um, which shit itself within 12 months and uh, I'll do another video on that um, because that was a bit of an experimental thing with what I, with, uh, what I thought was going to be a shitty product and as it turned out it most definitely was a shitty product um, that was the Grow Watt SPF 5000 um, that failed I replaced it all with Victron stuff um, but what we're doing here today is I've just upgraded their battery so this is a Power Plus Energy battery cabinet mounted to the side of the C container there and um, originally when we built the system, it was built on a budget and uh, the people have slowly upgraded. We've got a, um, a roof between these two C containers, uh, which has been really well built. And then on the roof, I've got a, um, I think about 18 solar panels on tilt kits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, sorry. There's another row behind that row. Um, so they've slowly been upgrading. So originally we started off with the shitty grow watt inverter with no batteries um, because that is one of the only inverters that can um, provide power in an off-grid scenario with no batteries at all. That was a big plus for it, but um, as we discovered it yeah, soon failed. Um, and then we added the battery cabinet, which like I say is the Power Plus batteries. And when the Grow Watt inverter failed, we upgraded it all with um, Victron quality stuff, um, which has been here for probably a couple of years now, I think. But um, what I'm doing today is I've added another battery, um, which is a really simple pro process with Power Plus Energy. Power Plus Energy is an Australian company, Australian made, Australian owned. And um, it's simply a matter of undoing these wing nuts, taking this bracket off. And I've literally just slotted another battery in there. You right there, Cola? Um, so, taking the battery out of the box, carried it over, put it in the cabinet, cabinet, plugged the leads in, which are there, ready to go. We've got the Victron Smart Shunt down there. You can see that. Um, tighten the wing nuts up, pull it in, turn it on. And then it's just a matter of updating the um, parameters in the smart shunt and the MPPT and the MultiPlus just so it realizes it's now got another battery so it's got more capacity so the state of charge is indicated correctly and that it can also charge uh, at a higher rate. So if we have a look at the Victron window there, you can see what's going on there at the moment. So we're up at 71%. And I've upped the charge rate as the solar's producing more power now. And um, that's basically it. So really simple process to upgrade with the lithium battery and the power plus cabinet. Um, still got capacity for one more battery, which they may well do at a later stage. Um, for these clients, they were actually coping really well on one four kilowatt hour battery. And you know, off grid, it all comes down to how much how, many, how much load you want to run off it. Some people, a four kilowatt hour battery would last them half an hour, um, whereas other people are getting through the whole night. It just depends on your energy usage. So everyone's needs, is, needs or wants uh, are different. So there you go, quick video, just uh, demonstrating how easy it is to upgrade a battery when you're using the Power Plus Energy products. Righto, cheers for watching.